Well, the first thing you have to do is think about why are you building an employee advocacy strategy? Are you building it because you want to drive engagement with your audience? Are you building it because you want to drive thought leadership? Maybe both. That's going to set your metrics at the end of this. So you really want to start with a really firm goal in the beginning. The next thing you want to think about is what content do you want to put out there? You have to have a content plan so you can make sure that it's a very consistent stream of content that's very high quality. The next thing you want to think through is how are you going to make this work? How are you going to make it very easy for the employee advocates to share the content? So you need a tool and the tool needs to have a really simple interface. But you also want to make sure two other things that I think are really important is that it has the ability to do smart sharing, to schedule out the content for you, and that it has a really strong analytics background. Then the last thing you want to think about is, okay, who are you going to include? Start with people who already have some familiarity in social that have a basic background understanding so that you can kind of show some successes earlier and then expand out from there. Then the last thing is going back to the why you started it. Measure, 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 and make sure that you're measuring on engagement, not just the reach of the participants in the program.